what you want to start with is the green grass and you'll also get a shaker in there as a simple just take a little bit and spray it where you want to grass and then shake it on. There are more than 500 active volcanoes around the world today. More than half of those are located along the Pacific Ocean and that area is known as the Ring of Fire. Pretty simple to do. Now the next thing we want to do is do a little bit of the bushes and just tear them loosely. They'll all look like bushes when you get them on there and just put a little bit of cement where you might want some bushes and then just take your bushes, stick them right into the cement. We've got the green grass down already, but let's want to take some of this polyfiber and some, show you some of the really interesting things you can make from it. Get it in an irregular shape, string it out to where it's all pulled out nice and thin like this. And what you'll do is you'll put it right down onto the grass right there in the corner and it'll kind of adhere right to it on its own just kind of like a velcro type deal and you'll come back in a minute with a little bit of grass and we'll spray it over that by taking just a little bit of it very thin sheet of it and elongate it out what you're going to do with this is create vines that come off of the rocks and we'll get back to that in a minute because we're going to need some of the colors of the other grasses here for that and in order to make a tree what you want to do is kind of twist the top up a little bit then what you can do is spray down the cone that you've made and shake the evergreen onto it and then you can cut off that little evergreen tree let it dry on the side and make yourself some more Okay, now that we've got our cone-shaped trees, we've got a number of them here done. Uh, I think what I want to do is just kind of at randomly spread them out a little bit too so that uh, it looks like we've got a lot of coverage of trees. On these flat areas right here, about the only thing that would grow on a flat area, of course, is a vine. And we'll stick that onto the side of the hill there. So it gives it just a little bit more depth. Spray the whole thing down and it will seal the mountain side. It will seal the grasses in. And nothing will ever fall off after that. We're ready to start mixing up the lava over the leftover um, hydrocal that we had. In this case, we wanted just a little water here, so make it something more like five to two. Um, and then check your consistency and this is about right. You might even want to tilt it a little bit when you go to pour it so that you do have somewhat more control over it. And just dribble it on and run it down the front and down over here and here. Then you just have to let it dry and we'll show you how to come back and paint it later on um, when it's done. As you can see it's now nice and dry and we can begin the painting process. I have some paints here from the Horizon kit and we're going to use our tray that came with the mountain building kit here to mix some of the paints in and we're going to start by painting on the back side over here the, uh, and the little fingerlings first and if you think about how they are the fingerlings are going to be nice and red uh, because it's very hot lava that's moving underneath remember to break it up a little bit too I was just thinking about that we don't want to make it too perfect of a line because it's cracking and constantly moving. If you make it a perfect line, it looks too much like, again, it's cut out of a cookie cutter. What we need to do now is paint the shaft. we still got plenty of paint so we can keep right on going with this. Now that we've got the brush run, rinsed out and it's still damp, what we want to do is kind of blur in a little bit of yellow here and there and just kind of brush it in there so you get the highlights of the yellow. Pyroclastic flows are often the most dangerous part of an erupting volcano. When the growing lava dome collapses, an avalanche of hot ash and rock flow down the mountain at speeds of 100 to 150 miles per hour and at temperatures of 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, now that we've got our gray all mixed up here, what we want to do is kind of blotch it around a little bit so that it stays irregular like we were talking earlier with the orange. That way you're not running so dramatically from one to the other. You're getting a little bit more of a broken field. Okay, now that we got our brown mixed up here, 
This will represent our dirt. And run that first layer right along the outside edge here. Now the last thing we have to do is just go over all those little fingerlings on the top up here with the black stain and it's called a black wash. Now what you want to do is just dab it on all over. Everything's starting to blend together really well. Now you can see the whole thing. You want to make sure that you get the signage in there so that they know everything about the volcano. Make them however you want and of course you're sign down here saying what it is and who it was by. You want to take the credit for this one. You're ready to turn it in. And when you think about it in retrospect, it didn't take all that much longer. In a week's time, hour or two every night, you can have this baby all finished. As you can see, both of them are very easy to do and guarantee a good grade. So, until next time, this is Papa Tom signing off. Go get yourself that A now.